Hey guys, Retro Badger here. I get a lot of requests to put the Armoured Voyager up against the most powerful enemies in Bridge Commander. So I wanted to find out how good is the Armoured Voyager and I'm going to try and put it up against the most powerful enemies that are in Bridge Commander. Right, so first of all it has to be the ultimate power in the universe. I want to get away from that green beam though and Look at that! We're taking the Planet Destroyer Beam! Let's fire those transphasics! So the Armoured Voyager, I can confirm, can withstand the Planet Beam. And there we go, we've eliminated the Death Star, yep! Wow. Next is an ancient city from Stargate Atlantis. Now, I am interested to see if the drones can actually cause any damage. I'm feeling quite confident. We did just survive the Death Star's planet beam killer. Here come those drones. And the game crashed. So I know for a fact that the Armoured Voyager was taking hull damage. Now if it takes so much damage that the textures get distorted, the game crashes and that's exactly what happened. Question it. If I fire some transphasics... Will we destroy Atlantis? Uh, sorry, the ancient city even. Oh, yes, we did. So, oh, here's a single drone. Oh, we did it again. Well, Rebel as we saw shield. there, the armored Voyager literally fell to pieces and the game crashed. So I have to give that to Atlantis. If we pulled off the right shot, then fair enough. Oh, and by the way, that's the doomsday machine and I'm in front of it. Will we survive its beam? Oh, are we deflecting its beam? Can we wave out the window, laughing at it? Yep, look at that, it's put our armor down to 93%. Okay, so, it would appear we have some resistance. Let's fire a transphasic, and boom. Hmm. I get the feeling it didn't use its beam properly. I just want to be 100% sure, as I don't think it used its beam that effectively. Although, hang on, there we go. And we're draining. No, look at that. Well done, Admiral Janeway. Okay, next up is the Voyager J. It just had to be the Voyager J. Will their weapons be able to actually cause any damage to us? I'm interested. To see. So if we take enough damage, the game will probably crash again. Look at that. We're taking some armor damage. Have a transphasic. Oops, missed. Oh, there we go. That's a shame. It is a shame, actually. I really like the Voyager J. Ooh, right. Who's next? Okay, so we have the Quantum Torpedo version of Deep Space Nine. Now, I tried this with the Husnock warship and Deep Space Nine, and they did critical damage. At least the Husnock warship did, as the game crashed. However, let's see how the Quantum Torpedo version does against this armor. But so far, ooh, sparks. Now, I don't know if this will be a one-shot job, as usual. Oh, here we go. Here they come. I want to see if we can just hold out for a few seconds, at least. Look at this, we can just maneuver around. Just fire phasers for fun. So, DS9's phasers aren't doing too much damage. The Quantums... The armor is holding. Wow. Look at that. Let's fire a transphasic. And... What? Okay, well, I think you can all guess what happened there. The game crashed. Of course it did. So, let's just fire from a distance. We know that armored Voyager can take the punishment. In fact, will one torpedo do it? Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that, the docking ring lights are still there. The promenade lights, sorry. That's it. Assuming that was a Quark's bar somewhere in there. I have been reliably informed that a Ferengi Marauder was seen warping out. So I think we can all assume Quark made it. Either way, I was impressed with the Armored Voyager's performance. It's a shame that the game is so unstable, but hopefully that's answered some questions. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. Oh.